Step back jumpers are some of the best shot creation counters in NBA 2K24. The ability to generate space out of nothing and hit a wild shot is always going to be satisfying. But in NBA 2K24, you're likely encountering these issues. You're trying to execute a step back, but instead you execute a pull up jumper. So by the end of this video, We'll cure that and I'll have you hitting step back jumpers at will. Okay, to execute a step back jumper, you want to be moving at an angle, hold R2 and pull the right stick down left, down or down and to the right. You can also tap square and hold the left stick in any direction. But in certain situations, and I like to call this the dead angles of doom, you won't be able to execute a step back jumper using the R2 and right stick method. Here, I wanted to pull the right stick down and to the left to escape the defense of Jarrett Allen and here I am in 2KU showing you that you can't execute a step back jumper in certain angles even though your inputs are correct. See this is the primary dead angle moving forward holding R2 pulling down on the right stick but also at the edges of the free throw line. If you pull the right stick in any direction as long as you're moving at that angle you will encounter some user errors. So the first solution that I showed in my previous video is to use the tap square method and that's pretty consistent as you can see right here. But there's an even simpler solution that will allow you to continue to do this with the right stick and that's just by double tapping the right stick in any direction to execute a step back jumper. And I can't take credit for this 100%. One of my subscribers, SKF underscore 2004, gave me this tip and basically I expand upon it here. You can double tap the right stick in the same direction or you can execute a switch back combo, basically tapping the right stick one direction and then holding it in a different direction to execute a step back jumper. So appreciate you all for sharing the sauce. We're building a community here that helps each other out. And the proof is in the pudding here. We're taking a dead angle, moving directly towards the basket. While holding R2, we double tap the right stick down. And as you can see here, it works 100%. So that tip is so clutch. It's going to help you out to get consistent step back jumpers out of dead angles. So you can try the double tap in the same direction or you can execute the switch back input method. The important thing with the switch back method is the second direction of your switch back input is going to determine the direction of your step back jumper. But there's another situation which will cause you to botch your step back jumpers and that is if you encounter contact and you lose a defensive engagement as you can see right here. I lose an adrenaline bar, try to execute a step back jumper and it results in a pull up jumper. So you can counter this by winning that contact engagement. That is, as you can see here, I'm not forcing the situation. I'm winning the contact engagement and I just use a simple R2 and hold the right stick down. And as you can see from this clip, the double tap right stick method is not immune to a proper defensive engagement. As you can see right here, I'm taking a dead angle. Double tapping the right stick down will usually lead to a successful step back, but not in this case because contact stopped us. Again, you want to make sure that you're winning the contact engagement and not forcing yourself into a situation where you get clamped or you enter into a bump animation to break your momentum and lead to a bad step back jumper. But based on my testing, the double tap right stick method is the most consistent in countering contact. But it's not only that you double tap the right stick, it's that you double tap the right stick in the correct direction. Here, my exit angle is going down and to the left. If I go down and to the right, I bump into Curry. So I have to make sure that my step back input here is down and to the left. And as you can see, that was beautiful right there, creating so much space. And as you can see, using contact against your defender is going to be so important. So it's going to be important that you choose the correct right stick input so that it does not result in a pull up jumper. And as you can see, even though I'm losing these defensive engagements in that situation, I lost two adrenaline bars. Picking the correct direction in which I double tap or enter my switch back inputs with the right stick is going to be the second important part of the recipe in order for you to get successful step back jumpers at all times. So here after my crossover launch, the proper exit angle because Curry is pinned to Booker's left is to double tap the right stick down and to the right and immediately do that and get a nice step back jumper counter. And again, you can counter contact using your switch back inputs or your tap square and hold the left stick in any direction method. 
So both work a little bit more consistently than compared to just holding R2 and pulling the right stick down, down left, or down right. But I only have one problem with the tap square method because you're already using the left stick to move around and then you have to change it in a certain direction to execute your step backs. This is usually more prone to user error as you can see right there instead of executing a step back. The missed timing in which I shift the left stick around is causing me to execute a left stick crossover instead. So that's something to take into account. And there you have it with the help of our community big ups to you skf underscore 2004 and a little bit of digging by your head chef right here we're able to execute step back jumpers at a consistent basis to help you out to ensure that you maximize every offensive possession possible and get you right as the best shot creator in nba 2k24 that you can possibly be